Hey, what's up, guys? This is Chuck. I'm Braxton. This is Jordan in the back. Say what's up. What's up? Hey, uh, it was Weeson. Got a great show for you guys today. Uh, you know, we're going to kick it off with a little bit of coaches. So, uh, we got Tay, Kendall. I think that's it. Hold on. Let me let me look. Tay, Tay, Zach, and Kendall. Zach, uh. Hey, bro, you want to keep your hands and your eyes on the road whenever we're uh, driving? So, Zach, uh, what's his name? Warren. Warren. Zach Warren. That's it. Uh, they're gonna have a nice little track track coach or so for you today, and uh, here you go. Enjoy. We had a good season. Um, we had Noah Fitzgerald qualify for state as a freshman and set the freshman record. Um, we had Nate Rains come in a tie, I think, for second in state high jump. Um, distance, our four by eight team did really, really good. We had Javi and Maddie and kind of leading our way and they're gonna lead our way again this year. Uh, we got James Parker coming back this year. We've got a bunch of uh, quality freshmen from cross country too. Yeah, last season we, we finished toward the end or the bottom of the conference, uh, but I would expect us to be more up in the middle this year. Sure. Uh, for high jump, we're looking at Abby Cook and the girls, and then boys, we're looking at Noah Fitzgerald. Uh, we got a lot of freshmen, girls, and freshman boys that we're really looking forward to. Um, Kelsey Bird, Dominique Valdez, Caleb Drysdale. Um, Distance-wise, we've got Javier Hernandez, who set our uh, school cross-country record. He's coming back for distance. Maddie Ware looks good. Haley Hobson. Um, and then for shot put, for girls shot, you've got Abby Snipes who set the freshman records last year. Uh, we've got a bunch of quality boys coming back. So we picked up a uh, young lady transferred in from Rick Springs, Nicole Morrison. It's going to be a real strong point for us. The distance, Maddie Ware is going to be our leader in distance. Uh, Shanice Irby will be in sprints. Tayona Wilson uh, is going to be a leader in sprints. She set a school record last year as a freshman in the, in the 200. So I would expect her to probably set records in the 100 and uh, 200 again this year. Um, we've got a, a, some new ones coming out, some freshmen that are probably going to help us uh, this year once we move them up to the varsity. So uh, I'm looking at uh, you know, a really good, strong overall team. We have some, some competitors that actually scored at the state meet and conference levels. And, and uh, you know, uh, Liam Alderson, uh, Josh Palacios, Robert Palacios. I've got a newcomer, Jay De La Rosa. You know, I'm not sure. You know, he's a relative unknown to me, but he's he's performed in track before, so kind of the expectations are high there. Uh, Distance-wise, Javi Hernandez. Javier Hernandez is just a solid performer. Had a great cross-country season. Expecting big things out of him. Um, Kyle Fairchild has shown up to track in shape, so I'm expecting kind of some stuff out of him in pole vault, which has really become a, a kind of a premier event in the 7A West, and so you've got to be pretty good to score points there. Uh, on the girls' side, Tayana Wilson should do really well. Uh, Meredith Lakis, and she's a proven long jumper and sprinter. Uh, we have a newcomer come, came in from Eureka Springs, Nicole Morrison, and she should have a really solid year. She put up some good marks last year at Eureka. She had a good year in uh, off season. Uh, there's several distance runners there that I'm sure Coach Sullivan has probably already mentioned and stuff. And Caitlin Kraft in the 400, uh, which also brings up Brian Velasquez in the 400. We're expecting big things out of him too. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that, uh, because at the moment we can't. Uh, but up next, we have a Bowling Hot video with Danny, Seth, Brian, and Parker. So let's get to it. How hope, about that, Jordan? Hope it's pretty hype. Sounds pretty good. Yep. I can see clearly now the rain. Do you have any predictions for the state tournament? Yeah, um, so this year we're actually doing really good, and uh, most of our matches we've won first place by maybe 200 points or 100. And so um, best team right now, so far that we face Asylum Springs. 
Uh, we're getting close to them, and they did pretty good last year in state, so I think we'll do pretty good. Sunshine in it. Oh, it's gonna be a bright, bright sunshine in it. I think I can. Before the dodgeball daddies, I was a no one. Alright guys, well I'm Chuck. I'm Braxton. And that concludes our show. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys Monday.